honestly, building a cat fort with someone is one of the most intimate experiences two or three humans can share together. Hi, my name is Jack, and uh, we're at my apartment. What we're doing today is we're gonna build the world's greatest cat fort for my cat Jenkins. This is Jenkins' current cat fort. This little tree in no way represents what Jenkins deserves. Jenkins gives and gives and gives, and all he does is give. I feel like a cat with a heart that big uh, deserves a home to match. We're all prepped, everyone's here, we've got all this stuff, and it's just the right time because every day at this time, Jenkins takes a long nap. We're gonna have to be very, very quiet so we don't wake him up, but I think we're gonna get this done before cat nap time is over. I'm excited, guys, let's do this. Oh, rap and roll. Hi, I'm Tanner. I'm helping Jack build the cat fort. <laughs> My name is Summer, and I'm here to make sure that any cat involved in this fort has a good time. Do we have enough boxes? Yeah. We got a lot of cardboard to work with. Jenkins has a one lifelong passion, and that is a passion for cardboard. I think he's going to be really, really excited. We want to have a periscope coming out of here so he can get in and poke his little head out. You want to pull the knife towards yourself. So here's what I'm doing, is I'm making a shelf that's going to sit on the inside of a box so that he can jump up and then jump out the roof of the box. I've got two triangle shaped pieces, they both got slits cut in them to kind of slide in there to get... What's that? It's a cat toy that's in there. I'm slightly worried because we have a huge amount to do, including building a courtyard and putting crenellations and decorations on all of this stuff. Crenellation is uh, what you see on battlements of a castle that goes like this. So I'm creating a little crenellation station here so that we can have some uh, of this stuff all around the side of the fort. Okay, okay. We need one more here to match that side. Oh, right. But are you going to have it go up? Tensions are a little bit high. My main thing is I hope that Tanner's not this pleased with me. He said I was going to be bad at this and he didn't want to trust me with a job, so... Jack, how's that crenellation going? Good, man! Oh, well, this is the best I can do. If he doesn't like it... All right, you did a very good job. Good. Well, I kind of lost my win there for a little bit. I thought we weren't going to get this thing done, but I think we're going to do this. Okay, the cat is about to wake up. We've got five, maybe ten more minutes if we're lucky, and we have so much more to do. I don't know if we're going to be able to make it in time before he gets out of bed. Okay, so we're finally finished. Uh, this is the completed structure. Here's what we have. We have uh, a big skull right in the entrance, uh, which is to intimidate Jenkins' enemies, but will not intimidate Jenkins because he's a very brave boy. Everything in the, in the courtyard here is centralized around this one pole. It's wrapped with rope so Jenkins can really scratch on it if he needs to, but it's also got a lot of string hanging down so he can play and bat at the string. He can get inside onto a big step that's built up in there, get onto the top where he can look at his drawbridge, he can go inside one of these boxes and look out of his periscope, or he can relax in this lovely Fort Jenkins right on the far east side of the, of the building. This is a finished out. cat fort. I'm gonna get out. <laughs> Maybe time to wake Jenkins up and uh, see what he thinks of it. Let's get Jenkins. Let's get Jenkins. Uh, we're about to bring him in. This is gonna be his first reaction to the fort. I don't know what to expect.